Hello, this is Tikva from Homeopathy for Humanity and today we're going to talk a little bit about the change dose. The vital principle does not accept unchanged doses without resistance. A dry and unchanged, not dynamized dose can easily cause aggravations and proving symptoms because the first dose has already accomplished the expected change in the vital force. The unchanged dose does not find the same conditions in the patient. So the patient may become sick in another way by repeated dry dosing, the medicinal disease. When we change the dose through water and redynamization with succussion, we safely avoid these issues and the cure is brought nearer. So if we're going to give a dose of C potency to a patient, we take just a simple cup of water and we put in a pellet of medicine, just one. Since I'm not actually making a dose of medicine, we're just going to pretend. We'll just put in one pellet if we want to. Bodinghausen says we can use two. Hahnemann says one is fine. And that's even in the poppy seed size. And then after that dissolves, unless of course we're using medicating potency, then that dissolves right away. Just stir it up a little bit and a tiny bit of medicine is given to the patient. Just a little, little, little bit. And then if this is an acute disease, we might need to dose again as improvement slows. In that case, we take our cup and our spoon again and we give it a really brisk stirring like this. This redynamizes it. This gives it just a little more energy and changes it just enough that the vital force accepts it again. Now we're ready to give our patient another dose. Again, just a tiny bit on a spoon and put it in the patient's mouth, have them count to 10 or so, swish it around, and then they're good to go again until you see improvement slowing or the symptoms change completely. If the symptoms change completely, we need to change our medicine. Otherwise, as long as there's a gradual improvement, we keep up with the same medicine as long as needed. Thank you.